Welcome to the Canboard tutorial of the EFLM project management tool. Um, we will go through some of the main features quickly. Um, first, you want to go to the address canboard.eflm.eu. And once you're there, uh, you uh, can log in. If you don't have any login credentials, please contact your task force, uh, task force group or working group chair. And once signed in, we can do some things. Um, as first, I want to uh, highlight uh, the user settings. For this, you want to go to the upper right corner and then to my profile. And within this, please, first of all, change your password, which was pre-assigned to you by your chair. After that, uh, you may want to edit your profile, um, including your name and your email address, if they are not pre-filled by your chair already. Then please set your application time zone so default is uh, Central European time. Um, and please, uh, if you want, you can uh, set the language to your preferences. And the third thing, um, if possible, please choose an avatar. An avatar is just a picture of you or something like that, um, which uh, then shows up uh, at every comment or, or of things you do in this uh, project management tool. For this, please go to choose file and choose any picture you like. Click on upload my avatar image and then you have it here. And as you see also already here, upper right corner, uh, this avatar image shows up. If you click on left upper corner EFLM CAN board icon, you always get back to your own dashboard. Now let's have a little look at that, this dashboard and uh, the project board. So this dashboard shows uh, projects, tasks, and subtasks that are assigned to you specifically. Um, every other project uh, you won't see. Um, if there is a project you're working on and you're not seeing it, please contact your chair so that he can or he or she can assign this project to you. Um, if we go into this project, we see the so-called project board. This typically consists of columns. Um, these are the default columns. Um, maybe your chair has chosen to use different columns or different uh, names for the columns. Um, and within these colors, you can see tasks. And these, for example, here, the first, uh, fourth task is still under to do. The first task is already done. And second and third task, for example, is at work in progress. And here under decision or discussion, these are general tasks, for example. Um, now in this board, if you want to, to change something, for example, the fourth task is now under work in progress, you can just take it and drag and drop it into the column uh, you choose appropriate. You can also reorder um, uh, these tasks within the column if you like. Um, and this is true, uh, for of course, for all the, the, the tasks. Um, this is basically everything you need to know for project overview and uh, uh, the project board and as now next we want to uh, have a look at the main feature the tasks within the projects the tasks are um, all of all of these uh, things here as said and if you go into one of these tasks let's say we have here the third task we go into this and then you see first of all a little description uh, and in the left side, you see left column, you see some actions you can do. We will go through uh, uh, some of these, which you might uh, use. First of all, um, the action edit the task. Within this, uh, um, 
you can edit the title you can edit the description um, um, the the free text fields these are free text fields like this one here um, they are always um, built the same so um, they use the markup language syntax so for example these two um, uh, stars here asterisk um, here they uh, symbolize that it's bold um, for example but you don't need to memorize all of this because you have here a formatting bar so if you you choose to have this here for example in italic um, this would be the syntax for italic in markdown and if you want to see how it looks before you save it you can click on preview and then you see here this is bold this is bold this is italic as we just did it and if you go to write again you can continue editing then uh, what you also could do you could change the color of the task you can assign someone this is important um, so let's assign ourselves Peter Istinov in this case um, to this topic uh, or to this task um, and you can set a due date or a start date but we will look at that a little later um, all other things including tags I won't go into detail here we'll just save that and now you see the color changed now Peter Ustinov is assigned and the description has changed as well as next thing in the left column um, you can add a subtask so if you have some tasks that are extensive or uh, need subtasking um, you can do that here so let's say subtask one let's say we are assigned to it again and um, I want to create another one after this save this one then we'll have the second subtask we'll assign that to someone called Yannick Haramuro and save this too and then you see your subtasks here in uh, the field the thing you can do with subtasks are only three things you can toggle between started and if you click here it's currently in progress and if you click once again it's completed and if you click once again it's not started again so these are the things you can do with subtasks there is not more you can do uh, if you want more functionality you can go here and say convert into task then you have the complete functionalities of a task the next thing here in the left co uh, left uh, column you can add an internal link so if a tasks a task is um, uh, related to another task you can do that here I won't go into detail with this now uh, you can go ahead and play around uh, it's it's quite intuitive um, if you if you really would need it here you can add an external link um, let's say we um, uh, add the EFLM website you can choose here what it is but uh, if you leave it on auto it will detect it itself so you can choose some title save and now you have uh, a web link here um, and if you click on this you would come to the EFLM website the next thing add a comment is the main feature of this of the tasks actually so um, if you click on it you come here to the comment function oops comment number one and again you can choose to for example have it in bold save and now your comment shows up here with your avatar be, uh, beside it um, it always logs with it when it's created uh, when it's updated and so on here in the right uh, uh, side you can choose to edit it if there if you forgot something or remove it and all subsequent comments after the first one you don't have to click add a comment but you can write it here directly below so comment number two and we'll make that italic save and there you go um, and these features are used for your project while uh, uh, between for example between working group meetings so if you if you and your colleagues are working on a project this is the 
platform you will communicate over. So you don't need to um, uh, be online at the same time or things like that, but you can work on a project or a task independently and add your comment here or if it's finished and your results, you can upload your uh, results as an, as an attachment, for example, also. Um, this is the next thing I wanted to talk about here in the left column, attach a document. You may choose any file you like. It's a PDF, um, a picture. Let's upload this PDF. Just choose it, then you say upload files. Close window. And now you have your file here in the, uh, in the task for everyone to see. And if you want to look at it, you just click on it, say download. And open it and then you have your PDF document here. Okay, all other things here, I won't go into detail, screenshot duplicates and by mail, you can do that of course. Um, uh, and close task, this is one thing you will need, but I'll uh, get to this just in a second, because when we go back to the board, we now have our third task. It is, has changed color. You have the um, assignee here, Peter Rustinov. Um, you can directly access uh, all uh, uh, things like the web link, like the attachment, um, the comments, um, the description from here. Um, here you, know, uh, you see when this task was created and here you see how long it has been in this column. Um, so this gives you a nice overview of your whole project on the on the separate tasks. If you want to remove a task, so it's done and it's you don't want you need to see it anymore, you can go ahead uh, and close this task. You can do that here in the left corner, uh, left bottom corner. Close task. Say yes. And if you go back to the board, then this task is gone. But it's not gone completely it's always available because what you see here are only tasks that are open and this is the filter you choose here um, you don't have to write it here you just click here and say please show me closed tasks and then you have your third task here in the closed sections um, if you choose to reopen it again because you forgot something you just go in into it and there uh, and say open this task yes now it's gone from the closed view and you go back to the open tasks and here you go here you have it again so these would be the tasks now that we have assigned ourselves to some tasks and subtasks let's go ahead and look in the dashboard if you go here eflm can board link uh, left up a corner to your dashboard now you see that not only the project is assigned to you, but also this third task and one of the subtasks. If you want, you can filter it here. Just like just show me the subtasks, just show me tasks, just projects, or give me an overview of all that is assigned to me. The next thing um, uh, we will do is to have a look at calendar and. Uh, the Gantt chart view. So let's go again into this project. Let's go into the third task and let's say, let's edit this task and let's say we have a due date on the 22nd and uh, we have a start date and let's say tomorrow. Okay, save. Let's say that this subtask also we added this one, this first one, and say we have a due date on this on the 20th. Okay, go back to the board. And now you have a calendar view up here. Um, and now you see this, uh, uh, these tasks um, here in the window. You see the third task has a starting date from 16th to 22nd, uh, 21st, and um, 
uh, the first subtask was created here. You can choose to, to move this around here, then also uh, within the task this will change. The other view you can choose to see is the gun chart view. If you don't know what a gun chart view is, it gives you a very nice overview of uh, your project as all of the tasks are uh, shown in um, in relation to each other. Here too you can choose to to move this around here to extend it if you want to and if you do so we'll go back to the third task for example and now you see the dates here have changed as well. So this is the calendar view and the Gantt chart view. And that is basically all you need to know as a user. Um, if you are a uh, chair of working group or task force group chair or a leader of a project, please watch the uh, additional video on the extended Kanban functions where I will explain things like how you start a project, how you assign users, and so on and so on.